Welcome to another year of Double Digit Q class. Some new faces, haven't seen in a while. You guys feeling awesome? Yeah. You guys feeling like doing some go? Mm -hmm. Well, you've come to the right place. Uh, today, we, yeah, who knows what the topic is? Let's see who gets the emails. Fighting. Fighting? Everyone know this? No? What's your name? Guy? Yeah. Guy doesn't know this. How appropriate. Some guy doesn't know this. Oh. Sorry, guy. Uh, I don't remember your name either. Edgar. Edgar. Your guy, actually. Wow. <laughs> Some other guy doesn't know this. <laughs> I knew it was oh, you knew this. Okay. You read email. Okay, we're gonna talk about fighting. And I do want to leave some time so we can actually play some games. You guys want to hang out and play and try these new fighting skills you've learned. Um, but you know, we're gonna try to put up some situations here that, you know. You need to fight. You need to fight your way out. So let's try it, shall we? Yes. All right. I'm going to give you a situation. This is, we're, going to start, we're going to start with theory. So we'll put up some like, more abstract positions. And then we'll get more, we'll start to play things that resemble more like real games. We'll try out, see, what, see if you can use what you learned. All right? Here's a situation I'm going to put out. Black's going to play a stone here. And white is not your friend. White's going to play a stone here. So where do you go? Stones no other stones on the board. This is your first move, this is White's first move. <laughs> okay, so 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 but here this is this is actually something this is a topic we're going to address. You know, when do you fight? Yes. What's the biggest move? Right, what's the biggest move? And Dan is saying, well, in the beginning of the game, open corners are best, right? Then approaches, right? You guys remember the five steps of the opening? So open corners, then what? Enclosures slash approach moves. And then what? Large side extensions, small side extensions, and vertical moves, right? Moves that go in the middle. Welcome. So we played a corner, white approached. So clearly, white did these things out of order, and we need to play a new corner. Correct? Maybe. No. <laughs> Definitely not. Okay. Too close? It's urgent? This is urgent, that's right. So why is this urgent? Well, if you can take the corner in one move, it's just like a corner but better. It's, 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 you get, you get, you'll probably get a stone from two out of Do you say because so why pay 3-3? Three, three? There's more obvious basic. Go you know, regain your 25Q knowledge. Regress a little bit. <laughs> like can immediately capture the black stone? Well, can I mean, needs three moves, so it's not immediate, right? But, yeah. but related to that, not quite capturing, but what happens before a stone gets captured? Uh, gets <laughs> There's Whoever an L word. Whoever plays there next has a big advantage in liberties. That's right. It's liberties. It's liberties, liberties, liberties. How many liberties does white have? Three, three. How many liberties does black have? If this was the situation, how many do they have? Four. Four. Easy, right? But here, when white plays this, this is a fighting move. Fighting, always, every fighting move you're going to run into, we're going to, we're going to see different types of fighting moves, okay? But every fighting move has something in common, okay? It causes danger to both people. There's a danger element. Something is in danger. Something is getting close to getting captured, okay? When that happens, there's going to be a fight. If I intentionally short the liberties on two stones, I've made them both simultaneously likely to get more captured, yes? Therefore, this is urgent, okay? So we have to respond over here. Doing this, White's gonna play here. Now we're way behind in this fight. I wouldn't even say we're necessarily, I mean, still, we could still fight, but really we're just getting attacked now, right? It's actually, that makes sense, because if you opened in that corner and White played the opposite corner, and then you attach to white, that's a bad move for you, right? So now, if you just reverse the that's right. moves, it looks like you made, you were the one who played the weirdo. Yeah, it's like, it's like, all right, here's the board position, right, exactly as Tom says, and you are gonna play here. You're getting eaten. You're down to two liberties of the stone you just put on the board. That's not efficient, right? Stones you just put on the board should have more than two liberties. Because, quite frankly, if you just put it there, you'd have four, no problem. <laughs> But you just put it and it has two now already. So you're under a you're disadvantage. So let's take these off for now. Let's go back to our hypothetical situation here. 
So where do you play? Okay. 17-4. This one? Yes. Why not this one? Yeah, side is better. This is a good move, right? I mean, we're still shorting liberties. Why don't we play this one? So stupid. The second one. <laughs> it's not so stupid. All right. You can get a Z-Way, why is it so stupid? Like, you more care about corners. Because, like, easy to live, first of all, and second, it's easy to exchange. Okay, but corner's big, right? This gets me to corner, so corner's big. It's big. Well, it gives you corner. So it is. Yeah? Like. All right, Jeb's gonna fill in here. It's more distressing to force fighting to those things. Yeah, this, this has to do with the weakness of this stone, right? When you're fighting, you want your stones to be strong, you want your opponent's stones to be weak. If I, were to, if I was to put a stone here, is that a strong stone or a weak stone? Weak stone. How about a stone here? Stronger. Stronger? Stronger. How about here? Strong. Strong. Pretty strong. How about here? Too loose. <laughs> no, just forget this. It's right here. It's hypothetical, right? Here, it's very, it's very difficult to kill this stone, it turns out. Right? Very difficult to kill this one. It's pretty easy to kill this one. So in this case, Black wants to take the stronger side, right? He wants the space that's more open. You can always get away. No real problem. Okay, so white, like I said, was not your friend. Plays here. Yes. Yeah, that's not the one. Yeah, that's a good move. It's a good move. Now here's the this what this shape has a name called the cross cut. You see this a lot. In any sort of contact fighting, this is the shape that you will see, right? For today, I'm going to give you the idea that there's really only two types of fights plus co-fights. But I'm not. We're not doing co-fighting today. Okay, that's something different. You know, agree? Yeah. Okay. But there's really two types of fights. There's contact fights, where it's all about liberties. And then we have group-to-group -group fights, where it's all about space. Okay, so this is a contact fight. Right? It's all about liberties, it's all about weak stones. It's black to move here. What's the first, when you are in a fight, especially a contact fight, what's the first thing you think about? Oh, hey, that was good. Hold on, I got a lot of good things, I think. Uh, let's start with Z-Way. Liberty. Liberties, good, number one. And what do we do with those liberties? What are we trying? More. More? Perfect, more good, for Tom. More for us, less for them. More for yes. us, Slightly. less for them. That's a good rule. Selfish Twix commercial. And then I said saving the weak stones. And saving the weak stones, very good. Hey, I'm gonna put all three of these together. Number one, look at which stone is weaker or which group is weaker. We have a group of stones. Number one, look at that one, see how we can help that one. We can or, help that group. If you look at black and white, which is weaker, if you see the weakest of the four, mm -hmm. it happens to be your point of an attack. Mm -hmm. If the weakest of the, in this case, not necessarily. Weakest. So, what's of these four stones? Which do you think is the weakest? White, three, three, white, three, three. This one seems the weakest, right? It's yeah. mo it has it's the most claustrophobic, most in the corner. Yeah. So, if we follow that theory, if we say, well, white's the weak has the weakest stone, therefore we should attack. Well, you cannot do that because cross. Actually, you actually make it weaker, so actually make it Exactly. Stronger. So, yeah, 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 if we, if we attack with Atari... I'm thinking, I'm thinking, like, in general, just as oh, in general. Okay. approach. Yeah. I, mean, I, I, understand, I understand with cross-cut, we have a standard... I'm, can I, can I, I'm going to paraphrase what I think you're getting to. You have to look at the situation. If you can kill one of your opponent's cutting stones, do it. No questions, right? You win the fight, game over. Yeah. Right? Fights, or at least the fight's over. You win the fight. So if you can capture a cutting stone, do that, the game's over. <laughs> We don't usually have one of these stones immediately in Atari, but if you, we can put one in Atari. Well, well, can we capture either one of these stones? No, no. We cannot. Yes. <laughs> like this? <laughs> okay, new fight. Here's the fight. Black to move. Yeah, yeah of course. That takes all the story. <laughs> all right, we can capture white stone. Kill the stone, yeah. fight's over. You win, yeah. right? Okay. We don't have that. Yeah, Jeb. Yeah, so, so, right, so let's go down the list here. We're looking to see if we have a weak group. Do we have either side weaker? Same, right, symmetrical in this case. So neither stone is weaker. Uh, what if we did have a stone, oh, I don't know, there. So now you should extend 16.3 because it's, it needs help more. Yeah, I'm gonna argue that this is actually a better play. This is the yeah. side that needs help. 
Yeah, yeah, especially if there's a white stone over here. White would really like to develop this side. You know, granted, we would like to really develop this side, but, but yeah, help, have to help the weaker side first. Okay, so this is, this is very high level kind of thinking, right? But this, this is, I mean, this is the ex abstraction of the idea. You're gonna, in contact fights, have a lot of stones around here that will make one side weaker or not. Okay, so this is a very high level concept. This side's weaker, help this side. How do we help this side? Well, we give it more liberties. If we can, take away liberties from our opponent. What do you guys think of this move? Pretty good. Very more offensive, right? Because it doesn't take away liberty directly, but it does take away a future liberty, right? I mean, this could be a liberty for white if white were to play there. So this involves a little bit of reading. We don't know that white's gonna play here yet, and maybe white will later, but in the meantime, this is the better play. This is gonna keep our stone stronger. When we descend to the outside of the board, you know, we're, help, we're gaining more liberties, but our stone isn't strong yet. When we extend towards the, more towards the middle of the board, we're getting stronger. Um, uh, am I misreading what should be very simple, or doesn't 15-3 there also threaten to capture the 3-3 three, three stone? Well, it also threatens to capture this stone. This it threatens to capture either of them, by the looks of it. Oh, 15-3, oh, 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 sorry, this one, yeah, yeah, this one threatens to actually capture both because, again, this stone's on the outside. This one only threatens to capture this one, right? So just one more reason why this is, in this case, a stronger move. So this one is a threat against both of us. It is. And just to illustrate what Tom's talking about, Tom's reading out this as a follow-up, right? Two yeah. liberties, death. Pretty cool. So this does put a lot of pressure on both Actually, things. Death is it's dead. Because the white Atari doesn't go anywhere White Atari, you you're fine. White still has two liberties. I have three here. I have three here. Yeah, oh, okay. Actually, make it black stronger. In making black, this is a bad move, right? Yeah, yeah. All right, so three liberties, three liberties, four liberties, two liberties. White's still dead. And, uh, and obviously, this just does that, so that's not Without any other stones on the board, does it matter which way you extend the black? When you get this to the cross cut, not there, but it's uh, a symmetrical cross cut. Like here or here? Yeah, well, it's symmetrical, but it's the same. Would, you like, would you like to play this way, Dan? Would you feel a gravity pull down? Uh, no, I just <laughs> want to double check that yeah. All right. So same. OK, so we're going to do this. What is white going to do? Extend the weaker stone. It has to ha if white's in a fight, right? Have to extend the weaker stone. So which stone is weaker? They're both really weak. This, this one move, right, as Tom pointed out, was threatening to kill both of them with the next move. But white 16-5 actually prevents both sequences, right? Because now if black tries to do what we looked at before by Atari at 18-3 and going off. Uh, why? Uh, no, no, never mind. No. No, yeah, because, yeah. Yeah, right? You guys can read this out? It only works for black. Actually. It only works for black. It's only good news for black. Less than um, that's the same. 17, five. 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 Yeah. This one? Okay, where does black play? Eight. Have to extend the weaker stone. <laughs> yes. Right, gain more liberties, all that stuff. And then, uh, Yeah, I mean, problems, right? I mean, if you go here, where does black go? Right there. Get more liberties, help the weaker group, right? This is still the weaker group. White fixes the cut, you can take the white stone from the corner. Yeah, here, this, this is good to Suji question. Actually, first of all, black can just play here, right, and be fine. But let's say white plays here. And on this move, you want to kill the two. Let's just pretend that uh, white's got help and is safe all over. I just gave white some free stuff. Don't mind. Tsuji question. Three liberties, three, three liberties, yes? How do you capture white? 17, two, eight, eight. Oh, we have contention in 17, the ranks. Right. Z-Way wants to do 17, two. So we play here, yes? Yes. And where does white play? 18, two. Where is oh, yeah, 18, two. 18, two, yeah, 18, three. Yeah, and, then and then what? 
17 what? Never mind, never mind. 18 what, make coke? 16-2. But now it's 3 to 3. 16-1. Still 3 to 3. <laughs> it makes better shape. We have an eye over here now, Dan. <laughs> so, how do we. It's 3 to 3. We should be able to win this capture race. How do we win? Yeah, 18-2. It's called the belly attachment. Very common to see. That's the move you need to find. Wait, wait, what are they called? Like, this is like the belly. Like, here's the head. We, okay. We've already hit him on the head. <laughs> We're rubbing the belly. Okay. We're just making him go to sleep. Just... <laughs> Whoa, wow. Wow. <laughs> I'm just using what they call it. How does, does white have any... Uh, I mean, the strongest thing? resistance is 17-2. We can try this. All right, where's Blacko? Not working. I know it doesn't work, but tell me, where do you where do you play? Nineteen three. Nineteen three. Yeah. And then? Well, white goes underneath. Oh no, my uh, sixteen two. No, 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 no. Here, what if white does this? Uh, eighteen one. Oh. Uh, no, one. That's gonna be a snap. Snapback. Tricky, tricky. 16-2. Um, see that? 16 2 works though. But if if you don't play here, you guys know this trick? White will throw in. Go there. Then Atari. And you can't connect. Oh, he just straight up lives in the corner. Oh, yeah. Hilarious. Well, not. I mean. Well. <laughs> and then these guys. So, yeah, if white descends, you have to take away one liberty. And it can't be this one. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, if white it can be three. this one, though. Uh, you can do that one. But if, <laughs> instead of extending white plays Atari at 18-1 immediately. Uh, wait, where? Oh, here? Yeah. Okay, where does black play? Uh, oh, he just connects it. Yeah, Done. Can't push. White can't play here. White, you know, has two liberties. We still have one, two, three. What, what happens if white is 19-4? When? Oh, right now? Oh, yeah. no, we still have one, two, three. White can't ever play here, and we still have three. Doesn't okay, okay, but, then, but then after that capture, white comes down on 18-5. Yeah, we have two. White has two. It's on move. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. right. He's going to love Yeah, we just Atari. All right. Wasn't well, this a cool, fun fight? We're going to do the same fight again, but the color's going to be reversed. You ready for this? Same exercise. Uh, it's not really going to make sense because white's going to have the, the fifth move of the game somehow. Zero stamp handicap game. Mm, no, we're going to do, we're going to flex. What? It's going to work. Okay, we play there. Oh, yeah, no. no. I know. <laughs> White plays here. All right, contact fight. We don't. We don't. We don't have. To, we could play this move. But you want to fight. Yeah. This. This. <laughs> this move is weak here. If this is the first two stones on the board, this is rather passive. And if anything, it's actually good for white. This can yeah. be a good exchange for white. No, he's not gonna, white's not going to play another move right now, but he's going to go take this. All right, let's say you come and take yours, and white gets this one, and then we do something over here. And then what if white comes and takes this? That's not right. I mean, are you going to respond over here and kill this stone? Okay, so you play over here. Well, white's not going to use this stone. I don't know. This is this is. I made this stone useful, right? This stone was slow. 
Because later on, black wants to capture this, right? But then white Atari's back and gets to play another sentient move somewhere. This is, this is a little slow, right? This stone, you don't really need it. We're going to come back to that. You know, when do you play that move? Well, black has other options right now. <laughs> Not to be so passive, we can fight, Dan. It's all about fighting. It's our move. So where should black play? Oh, black, there's nothing to cross cut yet. You're a little overzealous, but that's good. There, take away the liberty. Now white doesn't know. Oh, but white, white, white is just a poopy head. Should be, when did we, didn't you see the last time? He did not, Dan. This is actually very different though, right? Because last time he was on the 3-3 three, three point. So this is, this is a different situation. So we have to apply our same rules all over again. Or basically, we're looking at who, in this situation, we're looking at who plays first. In this, yeah. yeah. In this particular, again, this is, this is abstract, for, yeah. but I'm trying to introduce these principles within this very you know, superficial kind of situation. Don't play like this in your game. This is not good. Hmm? Good. Help the weaker stone, right? This is the first thing that should hit you in the brain, right, when this situation happens, right? What needs help? Or, or I guess, first, first thing, can I kill one of white stones? How? How? How do I kill it? Yeah, how, you said I can, if I can kill one of these stones right now, I kill it, I win the fight, I go do something else. Okay, I would say that's not really killing it yet. But you can read a little bit further ahead. Yeah, I know you can read 10 moves, Dan. <laughs> You can see how badly this ends for white. Okay, but we're, we're going back to principles here. Okay, okay. for if you don't know the 10 move sequence, <laughs> what are you going to think about, right? <laughs> Maybe you just play an inescapable Atari. You should play at the 3 3 stone more liberties. Yeah, so what you should be thinking this is the weaker stone. I need more liberties. That's what you need to think. Can't kill a white stone immediately, so help out the weaker stone. So, how do we help out the weaker stone? Oh, this one. No. It doesn't, it's less able to take away White's liberties later. It's and a little, it's, yeah, it's, a, it's, yeah. A, it's a, it still works though. It's, yeah. a, it's actually still playable. But usually this is a little it's stronger. Not necessarily fancy doing. <laughs> okay. All right, we're White, you're White. What do you do now? Get the black stone. Mm. Help the weakest All right, which stone is weaker? <laughs> your 16 3 stone is one move away from just being, just being captured, right? So we have to help that stone. How do we help it? Do we extend this way? We can extend this way. Yeah, this, this way doesn't act, this does take away liberties from black stones, but, but it's going to be black's turn, right? So we're, it's like we just cross cut and still give our opponent the advantage. It's not enough to prevent black from capturing. That's right. That's right, and it also threatens this stone. However, there's something very, very unfortunate for white here. Can't keep this other stone. Yeah, this stone's still gonna die. So how do we do that? E. Black's next move. Can we capture a cutting stone directly? Yes. yes. We can! We totally can. How do we do it? Atari at 17. Yeah, now it's time to Atari. Oh, I mean, I don't get the request. Right. So, let's see, where are we at? That was move one, two, three. Okay, let's see if we can get to ten. Eighteen, two. Four? It doesn't work, but yeah. that's the resistance, too. Sure, and then? Uh, that was five. Mm -hmm. uh, six. Seven. Eight. Nine. I didn't get to ten, I got to nine. You've been here? What's the liberty count at? Four and five. Yeah, not so good for white, right? Train wreck. Train wreck. So how come white train wrecked? He attached 
didn't cross cut when it couldn't possibly work. <laughs> Turns out he couldn't. And this is why when, you know, when Dan was saying, you know, play extend here, this is why this is bad for black. Because do you not see what happened to white? Wasn't that just embarrassing to be the white player? That's how you make him feel embarrassed. And here, if we just play normally, if we, if we now know that cross-cutting here gets us into a fight that we can't win, what should white do instead? Stand. Yeah, we think we'll help here. But now we're just getting attacked. <laughs> if, if this side is really important, black could play this. But real, really, black should just play here. And this is actually a really nice result for black. What did black get? Corner? Uh, he's got most of the corner. Influence going this way. There's one other thing that, or I guess two other things that black got. Oh, he didn't get the other corner first. Well, it's white's move. It's white's move. So he didn't get Sente. That's one of the things he didn't get. White, well, white sort of still needs to play a move. Here. Exactly. Yeah. White needs to play a 12-3 or something. Yeah, if white doesn't play over here, and white does and go, oh, I take the corner. Oh, OK. <laughs> How many eyes does white have? None. Currently, bagel. <laughs> If he had a bagel, he would have an eye. If he had a bagel, he would have an eye. It's kind of true. So he has nil? Is that a thing? Sure. All right. So now we're just attacking. Attacking is not fighting. Attacking is fun. Fighting is hard. OK, there's a big difference. So in other words, black, if white doesn't respond, black gets an attack. And it's not a fight because black is safe. Believe it or not, it's actually quite easy to make two eyes here with as many stones facing this way. So black got safety, black got influence, black got points, and black got a possible attack. So or or who or white or black? Oh, response to this? Yeah, well, how did we not do this? Well, this is from the last, last variation, though, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Black's move. Yeah. Oh, yeah, well, black's, black's just screwed here, right? Yeah, so, black, so black Atari, so the white. Huh? We, we well, which, which, which one of those moves is it? We saw what happened if it's black's move. Well, there we was something know. else. So, something but else. we didn't do what if it's So, so the, the sequence yeah. we just went over was this move, right? Starting with black. Is that the question? Actually, yeah. Here, white goes out. Uh, here, out. Oh, okay. Yeah. And, then, and then black, that's already right underneath. White, white yes. 18, 2. Black comes down. Yes. Yeah. Okay, why does white oh, start? Part. Yeah. Because it doesn't work. Was well, a ladder all the way down. No. No. Because no. uh, white's oh, yeah. 65 yeah. on Atari. Is, uh, if white has another stone here. Right, right. Yeah. And the ladder. Yeah. Then this cross cut works. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right? Then white can fight here and black just can't capture and win. Yeah. But white needs one more stone here for this ladder to set up. Or a stone here. You know, you get the idea. Somewhere, a stone. Yeah, Put a stone somewhere. Yeah. The idea is that that white stone would be. Can we play that one? Can't play that one. We can play that one. Right? If white has any other stone in this neighborhood, now we can cross cut. Now it works. Fighting is, is beneficial. So, so, once that happens, you do it on my purpose. So, like so, so, if white attaches here, what do you do as white now? No, you, now you have a stone, you can fight. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah you can actually, that would be extra. Yeah, black wouldn't have been bad. Yeah. Exactly. Well, this is a bad move for black here, right? So what should black do now? Now he should just extend. Now he should do this. Or, actually, if this is becoming a lot of influence, black can even do this, too. If this is becoming you important. Can potentially just jump right in the yellow guy? Hmm? Can you also just jump right in the yellow guy? Then that would be That's... like a step away from it. Wait, where? where? No, right. yeah. It's quite ambitious. Uh, it is very. This has to be super important because okay. you know what White's going to do on the very next move. Split yeah, he's going to say, "Do you really want to go after this stone? Like, do you really, really want that?" And you're going to say, "Yes, yes, I do." 
and say, do you really want to kill that stone? Why, yes, yes I do. And the light goes, remember that corner that was yours? <laughs> Bam. You almost had a force to get Oh yeah, you, you, exactly, that's what you do. Here's, here's um, <laughs> this elephant's eye. Oh, it's such a great shape. Like whenever you play, this, this is often a good move on the go board. And when you're double digit Q, you don't play this very often. Um, but it's really useful for making sabaki, where you can't afford to get in a fight. So what you need to do is basically force your opponent to take something. And so you play a move like this and saying, hey, if you want to kill one of these, dude, it's all yours, man. But, you can't. but I will get something out of it. I'll get a wall, I'll get territory, I'll get out, whatever it is. I'm going to use this, the other stone to get a bunch of free moves in a row, essentially. This is a very common move when you don't want to get in a fight or when you can't afford to, when you're just going to get attacked. It's not going to be a fight. It's just going to be you know, if death. Things, if things were even, maybe you would say, oh, this horse has had a fight and I'll lose something. Or maybe saying is, well, you need to win something so you can force this. Yeah, ex trade. exactly. Exactly. This is, this is, this is more of an of a intentional sacrifice you know, yeah. kind of thing. Not really what we're talking about. OK, okay. so some concepts. Concepts are, Protect you're in a fight. Stone. Protect the weaker stone, get more liberties, and when possible, you know, take away liberties from your opponent. And always make sure, if you can just capture the cutting stone, just do it. And there are some cool ways you can capture a lot of nets, you know, Atari and the net. There's a lot of patterns that come out of this that may work sometimes that you may not realize. Okay, so this is, you know, fighting is really all about reading. When people, you know, are reading really hard, it's not because they're trying to find the biggest move on the board, it's usually because they're in a fight. Okay, biggest move, it's a very different type of thinking. Okay, let's do something a little bit different. Let's try to learn another concept. And let's say, I'm gonna play a little bit more of a game here. Uh, so let's put that there. Actually, let's put that one there. Let's put this one here. Let's say white goes there. Black goes there, white goes there, and let's say black goes there. Should we give white one more move? Well, this is the question. It kind of does. Well, I mean, we put a stone on there, right? So, it's, so we can, if we take these two, this is the exchange, right? Would you say this is over-concentrated? No. Then this is over-concentrated. <laughs> right, we exchange these two. So if, I, if these ever happen, it's not over-concentrated. Sure, but if black captures that stone, it would be over-concentrated. If black, maybe. But can black capture that stone? Can yeah. black capture the stone? Well, first of all, it's white's, turn. Is there, it's, it's white's turn, but is there an opportunity for us to fight here? Yes. Maybe. Okay, how do you fight? <laughs> So there's so much that's big everywhere, and it feels like it's already three against one. I, uh, I personally would. But why can be three three, and then three stay? So start a fight over here. Yeah. What do we think? Yeah. I think it makes. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Space for base. Hmm? Space for base or what? Space for a base, like here? No. Oh, over over here. Yeah, playing over here, we we could make a base. Okay, so we play here, and Black says no base for you. Okay, then you start running. This is a fight, fight, right? This yeah. is starting to turn into a fight really quickly. Well, here's the question: Who is this good? Who is this fight good for? Oh, this is very good for black. All right, you guys may or may not be figuring this out yet. This is a situation where you should absolutely not be fighting. Okay, 
So that's why, why am I not wanting to fight anything down here? Here's the situation. Yeah, well, it won't be a fight. What do you need for there to be a fight? What's the key ingredient? No, you don't, we, did, we did have a fight with four stones, Matt. You don't even need equality for a fight. Don't even need equality. There's something else that's more important to have a fight. Yes, there needs to be something in danger for black. You need to have something that you can threaten for black in order to start a fight. White would love to start a fight down here, right? This looks like it's all gonna be black territory if we don't start a fight. But we need something to threaten in order to successfully start a fight. So putting a white stone on the eighth or ninth uh, one there doesn't threaten the black stone enough. Wait, what do you mean by eighth or ninth? I'm not pointing to the left of the black stone. Left? Oh, over here? Yeah. So that oh, does, does this, this threatens the black stone, but not black can do something like this. Very yeah. simple. Probably certainly see this move at you know, 20 Q level. Uh, mm. What's our new problem? Now you're, now you're split. Is this still a fight? I guess is my question. No. Why is this no, long, no longer a fight? Black now black's safe, right? The fight's over. Black wins. No, I mean, just not. He'll be. No, that's why he will be threatened. Because he's threatened. Yeah. 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 Fourth one. Oh, you want to start a fight that way? Yes, this way. Ah, oh, I like this move. Exchange this better. and in danger. Good. This is better. This is better. I'm mean, going to say it's still a little bit early to play this, so the timing is, isn't right, but this is better thinking. Okay? Remember our five steps of the opening. We're still in the opening. Yeah. Right? Um, and actually, before we review the five steps, once again, uh, I want to tell you something. This is from Yulin Yang, Seven Don Pro. This, he teaches a lot, this a lot. If you ever go to his workshop, he's going to review this over and over again with you. Uh, if we go back to, oops, that's not this one. Here we have. I'm going to say. I'm going to. I'm going to just accidentally say this in his Chinese accent because I can't <laughs> help it. Because this is what I think. This is literally what it sounds like whenever I think about this in my head. One against the one. Tanuki, okay. <laughs> Fair fight. Eh, it's okay. Two against a Y. Can't Tanuki, must play. Three against a Y. <laughs> Always Tanuki. <laughs> Can't fight here. Two disadvantages. Okay, three against one, no fight for you. Nothing left. Go play somewhere else. So run up by again, one against one. One against one, do whatever you want. Okay. Two against one. Must continue. Three against one? No. Don't continue. It's over the edge. Because you yeah. have to see what's the outside look like. Exactly. Yeah. And in this case, over here, I'm going to actually argue the move white should play is probably around here. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, Tom. <laughs> it's probably around here. Because, and this, this does actually several things. First of all, it develops our 4 4 stone, right? 4 4s want to develop sides. This formation really wants a stone over here. So if black gets a stone over here, this gets a lot harder to invade. There's no way to make a base in here, so we just have to invade and run. And furthermore, if we get this stone, well, this stone is definitely not dead yet. There's a lot of things that this stone can still do, even though it's so weak, which is the amazing part. So the, the idea of 1v1 um, is maybe the one by 3v1 it kind of reminds me of Protect your weaker stones, but don't protect your dead stones. There, well, yeah. So and it's like a like a it's, it's a mirror of that. Sort yeah, of. yeah, yeah. It's so it's you it's. Could say it's like strategically dead, but not tactically dead. Sure, <laughs> sure. I mean, we could put it in those terms. Okay. Or I mean, it's it's also true that even if you could make the stone live if you worked really hard, if it's already three against one, probably you'd have to work so hard that you'd give up too much. Exactly. Okay. And and it's true. We can make this live. It's not I'll dead. Help. Okay. But if we do, the chances of black getting a huge wall facing here are very, very high. And if black has a huge wall facing here, guess where black wants an extension? Over here and over here, right? So we're going to take that point first. And now if black wants to kill this stone, black just made a huge wall. But guess what? It's not facing anything. The wall isn't useful, right? And the stone isn't dead yet, right? This thing, 
can still scrap out some scrap of life along the edge of the board here. And uh, furthermore, even, let's say black gets a little bit stronger, maybe black gets another stone over here. I don't know, something. Uh, we still have moves like this. This move makes black super sad. Because you want to come on top, right? Or do you? Remember that corner you thought you killed so long ago? We kill it. Actually, in this case, with this stone, it still dies. But let's pretend that's not there. There you go. White's going to live now. And if we block this way, we can even cut that way first. Oh, OK. OK. White's corner. Right? All because white still has a stone here. We're, we can still use that stone. So it took black one, two, three. We could say this is a fourth. Four moves to kill that one stone. That's efficient. All because we didn't fight. OK, all because we reached that point of no return, not worth fighting anymore. OK? All right, new situation. So that's a little bit about when not to fight. So we need to talk about when do you fight. Let's, let's play a little bit of a game. Let's see, I'm going to even try to have you guys make up the game here. When honor is at the stake. When honor is at the stake, always fight. Shakespeare. <laughs> I don't know. Fight for a straw when honor is at stake. I don't know. I played an honor game on Sunday, and I guess my, not, I mean, not really, but I mean, against one of my go Congress friends, and we got this huge fight. They just, they just devolved into seven separate groups in a secchi, and it was just, let's not talk about it. Must have been so much that <laughs> but honor, like we always, yeah. you know, we, like, like, you know, we just, we just don't back down, right? This is, this is our personalities, right? This is, it's, it's a contest of testosterone, basically. I think at that point. Uh, all right, here, actually, you guys play a game. Pick a game. Go around. Shout out a move for black. Black plays. Four, four, four. White. Dang it. No. <laughs> uh, upper left four, four. Black. Facing or opposite? Facing. Chinese style. White. Uh, the other corner. Sure. Black. 15. 15, 16. Huh? 17. No. Tell me what's. It's okay. Next. Mm, ten two or ten two. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> Not that yeah, this move is very good. Why this move? Yeah, it limits black's ability. To yeah, make black's it. making a wall this way, right? Black wants to develop here. You say no. All right, black. Good. Which side? I think both are playable. But I like this side because we have another high stone over here. So we. Have, Kind of feels like we have more to develop, but so does white, so both are playable. All right, white. Uh, just like Which one? Uh, the three, six. <laughs> three, six, this one? Yeah. You guys don't want to fight ever, huh? Yeah. <laughs> okay, you just don't have a good reason to fight yet, right? There's nothing that we feel really passionate that we want. Yeah. Okay, black. I know how we can fight. Okay, so black goes. <laughs> Two for black. He goes for the okay, so black wants territory now. All right, not this, I mean, not thinking about developing the outside, it wants territory. That means that white can play 7 3. Oh, you want to play this fight? I don't, even, I don't know this Joseki, but I know it's a move. So, and this should I would, be white. I would like this more if white was here. Mm. <laughs> oh, oh big difference. Goes. Big difference. So, you know, well, here, here's, here's the difference, okay? When we play a move like this, we're starting a fight. We want to have more stones that can help or be developed okay, by the outcome of this fight. Um, I'm actually going to suggest instead of playing this one, we actually play this one because it's a little bit simpler. Sure. Okay. And you will see why we want this one in a moment. Okay. Because black right now has exactly two choices. Take corners one, number two, run away. And over here, we feel like we, this is playable because we have this corner. We're thinking, hey, 
if we get in a fight over here, I already have support. So, I mean, even though, even though these moves are very open, right, you're not, you're not seeing like a fight develop yet. When you play a move like this, you're thinking about the future fights. You're saying, I want to fight here because I have this stone here. Is that too high level thinking? No. Cool. If this was a white stone, you know, black would for sure probably just do this. I don't want to fight here. Okay? I think even with a black stone here, I still think this is playable. But especially with this here and this here, I think this is also good. All right, what does white do? There's two good answers for white. What are the, what are the two good possibilities for white? It can take away the pointer option so that black no longer has space. Number one, we can say, no eyes for you. We're going to fight. Or what's the other option? Yeah, how do we do that? Play here. Why not this? Black can just jump uh, in. Can, oh, if the corner is still open and black can easily counter attack you. <laughs> this is this is squeezing the tube of toothpaste all over yourself. <laughs> <laughs> right now, this is under attack. This is under attack. And at any point, if you ever actually get an attack on black, black still has this move to make a base. <laughs> okay. You squeeze the toothpaste too far too quickly. You only need a little bit on the toothbrush. <laughs> okay? So this can't do this, okay? We're being too aggressive. We're trying to attack when we don't have an advantage. Okay? Because we don't have an advantage, we can't attack. So when White looks at the situation, there's two ways we can interpret this. White can say, oh, if I play here, where's Black going to play? Right? Two situations. Uh, one move. There's only, well, maybe two moves. But really, there's one move. <laughs> I just have Take a away your why. base. Yes, how? Ten three. Yeah, I, I like this. I like this. I like this. Any of those? <sighs> if it, the star point is weird in this case because white can both jump with both. Again, it's going to attack here, but at the same time, white can still get under. Whereas if we play here, at least if white tries to come under, we can actually cut this stone off. Wrong color. We can actually sort of separate here and wall this off. So it's it's a it's a it's a space thing. Whenever your opponent is getting stronger, we want our stones further away. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah if, if if we know we're going to make our opponent strong, we want to be a little bit softer. And so I like this. This is this is probably my first pick move. This is probably my. The one that I would instantly, if this was a blitz game, this is what I play. Are you talking about why? Why Well, black, well, black, black. We're looking at a fight now, right? Now this well, is. Turn. Now, well, now it's white's turn. So where does white play? Probably jump, right? Now we have to jump, right? Yeah. Now we actually have a fight. Yeah. We actually have a fight. Is this who is this fight good for? Ooh, white's got uh, well, actually, it's for black. Players have places they can develop. So no, because I think it's for black because like the side is open and if you keep forcing out the sides, you can just jump in and have a backup for mm -hmm. black. Mm -hmm. So Here, here's the thing: I don't know who it's good for. This makes it go hard, okay? But I mean, it's a fight. You know, some some obvious things that you can see if black jumps out. Um, we might be able to get some territory while attacking, but at the same time, we're going to injure this group. And if we jump out this group, well, then black's going to destroy this. But if we get strong here, maybe we can destroy this. This can be fun. The other scenario, I want to back up, pause for one second, that we were contemplating. Remember, I wanted to show you what ha would happen if we played uh, this way, if white took the corner. What happens if white doesn't take the corner? What are we... What's the other possibility? Does white want to fight here? Remember, does white want to fight here? That's what we're thinking about. No. If we don't want to fight here, we, say it again? Big, big, big. Yeah, where's the move? Right there, make a base. We don't want to fight. We're saying, this was black's potential. I just want to sit in it and just be calm. Zen. And now black can take the corner. And white will take the corner. And in this case, white avoided the fight. 
And that's not a bad thing, right? We, we saw black has you know, more potential. This fight is going to go maybe a little bit better for black. We have something to be scared of. Well, we can play this way. And everyone got a little something, right? I mean, the potential over here is ruined for black. White got a few points. Black got the corner. White got a few points. Still a game. I don't know which answer is better, OK? But. So where is that, that high stone at the bottom of that? Ah, so if we got into this, there's two ways. One way was we didn't actually play out the variation where it came where it came in. It actually provoked black to jump out. It provoked black to offer the fight to begin with. Because if we go back to here, let's say black doesn't want to fight. Black doesn't have a stone here. Black just doesn't recognize he has a stone here. Black just wants to take the corner. Where's the next move for white? Yeah, how? This move is important. Yeah. Black place here. Now black could say, oh, you've tricked me. Because now, look at this stone. We have a high stone here facing this big wall. This is very developable for white. And if black tries to reduce it, well, then white's going to make this. And you want to make fourth line points as opposed to third line points if black tries to reduce this. So in this case, having a high stone makes this very developable. Where if white has a stone here, this is actually quite easy to reduce. Black can even just start play a stone right. Well, black could probably approach first, live over here, and then come and cap this and have his own wall. But let's say black is a little miffed and says, oh, I was tricked. I didn't want the corner, I wanted to fight. So we fight now. <laughs> All right, use your fighting skills. Help the weaker side. Is this, first of all, is this, is this a good fight for black? No. 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 However, it's also really difficult for white to kill this black stone directly. Yeah. Well, what do you want to do here? Show, right, show me your fighting skills. Eight, eight, three. Uh, eight, eight, how, do, which, how? Uh, well, if you go eight, two, nine, you are threatening to capture the two black stones. Yeah, we have to help the weaker stone, right? What goes through your head? Can we capture the black stone? No. OK, so what's the next thing? Help weaker stone. This stone's strong. Right, it's contact, fight, cross cut. There's your cross cut shape right there in those four stones. Help weaker stone. A couple ways to help weaker stone. Yeah, you can play this one. This is a fancy way. Oh. Pretty cool. Nine, nine cool. Three at least threatens the ladder. This threatens the ladder, but if you do this, hmm? I'm not sure it does actually. Uh, ladder is good for white. Yeah, uh, it's good for white. Just yeah, just barely. So this actually, you know, it does threaten the ladder. So where does black play? I have to extend this way. This is extending this way. Not helping you get more liberties, right? So we extend this way. White has to play somewhere. Pick a move somewhere around here. Yeah. There's more I passes. That's like the safe way. You can play 10 5 if mm -hmm. you want to more severely attack one. Nick, do we not double move to capture the corner? This corner? This is safe. 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 Yeah. Super safe. Very safe. So, but here, here's the thing. I'm not liking this a whole lot for white yet, because this group is still not safe. I mean, it's getting there, but with this move here, it still seems like you know we can lean on it. If this gets stronger, we can poke out eyes. So it still feels like we, you know, it's a, it's still a fight. You know, we're still we still have two weak groups. So if we play another move, we're gonna leave an elephant eye, or we're gonna leave a weakness. If we, you know, there's we play this, that looks a little slow. I would. Can, and you, can you omit 12-3 and just immediately go to 10-5? Because black can make your base uncomfortable anyway. Yeah, I mean, this is a little bit stronger, but we still have the same problems, though. Yeah. Right? Black can still play another move over here and threaten us just the same. So, um, But there's something else I want to show you that's very important that I don't like about how this is going to go. If this group becomes stronger, remember, this is the black played this trying to reduce this. 
but but it might become so strong where the you know where it eventually gets to play a move like this. And those white pieces is very hard to play. Oh, it's, 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 first of all, we have to live. Yeah. We're not alive yet. Four. <laughs> Yeah, we're going to be living small and low with very few points, and Black's going to get all this influence back that he lost from this wall. So in this kind of a fight, you know, if, if, if it goes like this, we have to be very careful, okay? It's still a fight. Even though it looks like white has this advantage, this is not great shape for white. And <laughs> furthermore, we don't have any other stones helping this space out. So let me take this back just a little bit. When black cross cuts you here, we need to find a slightly stronger move. That's why I like that one. Just say, is this stone important? And if black doesn't think this stone is important, black can just give up these two stones. But that's points, and that's, a net, that's just three points, right? So if black says, this is important, this is the cutting stone, I need to keep you weak, we have to respond. And then we get another free Atari this way. And if we feel a little bit weak, you know, we can always just play a move like this. Just try to settle real quickly. Um, but if we are stronger, we can play this. And try to keep pressure on. We're not quite strong enough to do this. Okay, but just play a move here, here, something like this. Maybe that's better. But if black does the same move, now we have time to come over here and fight this way. Okay, because we descended this way, we got a free move. We got a free little shape move. So when we're fighting, you know, in these contact fights, it's all about liberties, it's all about shape. And when I play this way, this isn't actually getting me shape yet. Right, I have to take advantage of this little weakness that black has first. And that just gives me enough, enough room to find time to come and turn this fight into an attack. Anyway, uh, the whole point is, Black felt like he had to do this because this was high. Like that was the original question. Yeah. Oh, right over there. Uh, all right. I think we're actually going to pause there as far as showing out demonstrations. Again, the key concepts. Okay. When do you fight? When do you when do you want to create a fight? When something's at risk. Well, we, well, when you you either want to create a it's really two situations. We didn't really talk about the other one. But one is when it's going to be in your area of strength. If you have stones in the neighborhood, play aggressively. If you have friends, even if you can't read it all the way out, if you have stones nearby and your opponent's doing something to you, like, you know, if you have any, well, even if black doesn't have anything, we know this doesn't work out well for white, right? But especially if he does, be aggressive. Find the most aggressive move that you can. You have friends. Oh, it's especially bad if we have this. Oh, gosh. Be aggressive if you have friends, okay? It, however, if you're really strong in an area, and white does this to you, you actually don't want to be really aggressive. There's already three against the one, right? And when you get really aggressive, white's going to die, but what is white going to get in return? He's, he's going to get free moves somewhere, right? Now we can play moves like this, and now I have weaknesses. I didn't have weaknesses before. Now I have something to worry about. So if we're really strong, now's the time to be defensive. Isn't that weird? <laughs> Basically, it has to do with what you're entitled to. When white approaches you, liberty fight, you're entitled to a fight to your benefit. When you're really strong, it's no longer a fight. This is a massacre. Okay? When it's a massacre, you don't, want to, you don't want your opponent to ever be able to take out a sword. You just want to say, shh, go to sleep. Go to sleep. Okay, so when you're really strong, don't give your opponent free stuff. Okay, so when you do 17-2, what, what uh, extends the fourth line to 15 or 16? Wait, 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 when 17 here? Well, when the down comes down to four. But the problem is why I'm not following. If white runs? Oh, it's awesome. You're, you're going to have such a fun co-game if, right, if white tries to run the stone out. Here, run the stone out, Z-Way. Well, well, what's your question? What, what, what I was thinking was, is white in a, some sort of position where you can run down and separate that black stone from the rest of the earth? Maybe. But 
I mean, what? <laughs> I, 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 white still doesn't have eyes yet. This is solid. This is stronger. I mean, this is going to be a fun game for you. So maybe like in this case, white wasn't really close enough to threaten that black stone that got away. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay. But if black plays something like this, now white has moves that actually threaten me with things. And yes, I'm not going to die, but the point is, White can get away very lightly now and make this. St I noticed I didn't have time to help this stone out. Right? I was too busy helping over here. So, someone touches you in a fight, you're in the advantage, fight. If you're really strong, you're going to fight, but make sure you leave no weaknesses. That's, I guess that's the key takeaway from this final part. Okay? You get to attack it. You get to make a wall here, you get all these points. Do you like walls? Do you like points? <laughs> Good. All right. Key takeaways. Help your weaker stones. If you can't capture the cutting stone, right? Try to help them. Try to make more liberties for yourself. Try to, if you can see any weaknesses in your opponent, you know, you can use a peep or that descend here was pretty cool, right? Because it gave us more liberties in tempo. And we can come back and attack. Uh, it's just a simple descend or a simple, simple move will also would, will often turn a fight into your favor, right? From your opponent's favor. Hopefully that gave you a little more confidence fighting. I have no idea if it did or not, but at least you feel good about it. Uh, let's play some games.